I'm Jeff Gilbert here at Brick World Indy, part of the local Indy Log. Um, what this is, this is from episode seven. This is right after the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. You see it come over the planet of Jakku and all the landing craft come down. And this is the village they raid at the very beginning of the movie. Uh, myself and a friend of mine, Doug Davis, did this together. Um, we have planned it out over several months. It actually only took us two to three, about two and a half Saturdays to build. But we spent probably four or five months gathering all the parts and the correct minifigures and, and making actually our Finn minifigure custom. Um, basically, we just tried to take all the stills from the movie and tried to build the village out. We tried to put some custom huts in that weren't too square, build some into the mountains, um, and just try to make it a nice layout that would look true to the movie. Uh, we also tried to keep the scene similar because we've got the, la the four landing craft together, Kyler in shuttle. We've got Poe's X-Wing being shot by some stormtroopers. Uh, of course, we've got all the townsfolk gathered up, and they're getting ready to get the business end of something unfortunate. And of course, our hero, one of our heroes, Finn, wants to not participate, so his gun is down, just like the movie. And Kylo Ren's up there interrogating Poe. And we, like I said, we just tried to keep it close to the movie. And and we, I feel like we did a pretty good job. And it didn't take us too horribly long to build. It was mostly just parts gathering. Yeah, I think it, now are the landing craft are these the Lego sets or are these custom? We did actually use just the sets on those. Okay. Uh, we are considering uh, if we get more time later, since the actual craft were slightly longer, what we might do is take them apart and add four to six studs in length and then put them back together and make them a little more accurate. But since we didn't get all the parts together until a couple weeks before the show, we're like, okay, this is what we're got and this is what we're going with. Sure, time constraints, yeah, yeah. Def definitely. So do you like doing kind of the landscaping work here? I know I like what you've done with all the different tan and making the, like the dune look and the houses and stuff. Yeah, I think we both enjoyed that. It was something, we had to brainstorm a lot to come up with the shapes, just kind of match the stills of the movie a little bit. Uh, of course, they're not exact because Legos are never going to be 100% exact to real life just because the shape constraint. It's just the nature of the beast. But, yeah, we tried to make it close to the movie, and we tried to make the landscape in as natural feeling as we could with the different colors because it's not going to be all just tan or all just brown or whatever. So we, we tried to figure different, like the dark orange and the dark flesh and the dark tan and the regular light tan just to try to give it a little variety and make it appealing to the eye. Sure, yeah. And so do you know how many base plates large this is? Well, you've got quite a few in here. <laughs> Looks like it's about 8 by 14. Okay. Uh, honestly, I didn't know. We just started slapping base plates <laughs> out till we got to a size we were happy with. And and just then we took about 30 bricks, laid out our mountain range and our sand dune. And we go, okay, the city center needs to be over here. This is where we need to build our range and our sand dune. And then we went from there. And probably about a half hour before we laid that all out, we did. We went over several movie stills that we could find and different angles, try to get the layout and the height correct and just gauging off, you know, the stormtroopers are roughly six foot. So we gauged, you know, the height off those and for the mountain range. And so... Yeah. Well, I think it turned out great, so thank you. I appreciate you taking me through the build. Thank you. Thank you very much for your time, guys.